Right, and thanks for um, watching this video. This is a, a quick example of how to use the Umbrella Firmware Toolbox, um, written by Tobias or Tobias. Um, not sure how you pronounce that, to be fair, mate. So sorry about that. But anyway, so this lets you uh, modify firmwares for loads of dash cams and uh, basically anything with an Umbrella A7 in there, pretty much. So yeah, so basically load the tool up. It's Java based. You need Java installed. Uh, file open A7 binary. Um, today I've got a firmware from a uh, Papago GS520 so you just basically load A7 firmware, point it to the firmware you've got from the manufacturer and just do load A7 firmware. That brings up all this stuff. This just means it's loaded OK, it's passed the file, um, there's no errors, you can see no errors displayed there. So basically you can see when it was built, so this is like the 11th of November 2014. Um, loads of stuff which basically doesn't mean much to most of us, uh, but it means loads to Tobias, Tobias. Anyway, so basically, to um, change the bitrate, load it up, extract all partitions, export finished, RAM, extract RAM to disk, export finished, editors, then you've got bitrate editor, um, that pops up a new window, here we go, look. So the minute it's blank, so all we do, primary.a7s, this brings up something like um, an Excel window, and basically all it is, it's a row for each um, type of video data, basically. Some for different resolutions, some for different exposure types, you name it. So um, at the minute, it's a type set to 3, which is a variable bitrate, or VBR. So um, all that means is basically um, it can change from the minimum amount of that to the maximum amount of that. At the minute, they're both set to 1. So um, you get 1 times by 18, which is 18, to the minimum is 18. Maximum is 1 times by 18, which is 18. Simple. So what you've got to do... In this example, we're going to up this one. The 2560 by 1080p mode records in 18 megabits. So I'm just going to change all the occurrences of 18 up to 21. And that will basically mean that when you flash this back to your camera, um, it will then start to record the 2560 by 1080p video in um, 21 megabits. Magic one, you know how. It's really easy. Um, what you probably should do, to be fair, if you've got a bit more time, um, I'm in a rush because this video software only lets me capture a couple of minutes, otherwise it crashes because it's great. Um, but yeah, so what you probably should do is uplift quite a few of those values. Usually anything above 10 megabit you can uplift by, say, 3 megabits, and that'll give you a nice little performance boost. But anyway, job done. So I'm not going to change it to um, CBR. I'm going to leave it as it is. Um, you can find the, the benefits of each one on the web. These cameras seem to so some people prefer VBR video, some people prefer CBR video, so it's just try both out, see what you're happy with basically. If you go too crazy, like if you set the range max to 2, um, that would result in a peak of up to 42 megabits, which is a lot, and it can make these things crash basically, because um, a lot of these cameras don't have heat sinks, they're, they're not built for it, the, the cheap Chinese ones are just basically made to just about work, last a few months, then your battery will go pop, and you buy a new one. But anyway, so all you do, apply changes, that's applied it, back into the main window. At this point, you just do build ROM from disk, see it's built it, no errors, build firmware update, and that's it. Jobs are good. And so um, what you can do at this point is donate to to uh, the developer, Tobias Tobias. I'm still not sure, mate, sorry about this. But, um, but yeah, as you can see, some of us already have. Great little tool. So there's quite a few people have already done that. A lot of people from Dashcam Talk. So um, very popular forum where basically um, we talk lots of things about dashcams and um, lots of random things in the um, pictures that made you smile today thread. It's usually pictures of tits, which is great. Anyway, so thanks for watching. So all you do at that point is um, basically if we have a quick look in Windows Explorer. Um, the video is not going to crash yet. There we go, look, firmwares, papago. You can see you've now got a new file called a7firmware.bin, and that is basically the modified firmware that you've just created with the um, enhanced bitrate. So what you can do just to validate that is basically open that in the tool. So um, a7firmware, quickly do extract all of those, extract that, editors, bitrate editor, fires up the new window, load from primary, primary.a7s, Click, click, open. There we go. Look, so all the 18s have changed to 21. Job is a good one. So at this point, all you've got to do rename the um, A7 firmware dot bin back to whatever your camera would normally use. In this instance, you just basically rename that to say dot vanilla, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. And then you change that to firmware dot bin. Copy that to the root of your memory card. 
eject your memory card cleanly and then basically once that's done put it in your camera turn it on and it'll probably ask us to upgrade the firmware say yes go and um, have a cup of tea or a quick drink or um, a magic fag hope that it doesn't break your camera and then that's it when it comes back up it'll record at 21 megabits or whatever you've changed that to anyway give it a go see how you get on and all the best cheers